Master Yama came to earth to tell fortunes, not wanting to queue up, he picked up a pen and drew four circles in the book of life and death, the four people in front of the queue instantly lost their lives. Master Yama pushed the door and entered the house, worrying that his identity would be recognized, and disguised himself as a human being. At this time, the divine fortune teller inside the house was helping people to change their lives against the will of heaven, only to see that he let the fortune teller bite his finger to give the paper man some eyes, and then he draped the man's clothes over the paper man. Then a miraculous scene happened, only to see a papier mache car crashed into the paper man. Then the god instructed his grandson to take out the paper man and the paper car and burn them. Just after this, a name disappeared from the book of life and death of the king of hell. Just then, the man's driver ran in in a panic, telling him that the car had been hit by another car outside, and fortunately the man was not inside. Upon hearing this the man gratefully knelt down to express his thanks to the divine reckoner and said that the divine reckoner of heaven's fate was truly worthy of his name. This made the king of hell very angry that a mere mortal would dare to play with the gods, and immediately called the divine reckoner a great liar, and that everyone had been deceived by him. However, the divine